Okay, so onto this side. I know there's a lot of mess. Like I said, I'm just I've got even my wardrobes have got to be decluttered. So onto the top drawer. <laughs> oh god, this one gets a bit stuck. She's just been beat up from the start. So this is like my bronzers and blush and contour palette and kind of a junk drawer. It's got like my tweezers and stuff in it as well. So let me sit down on the floor first because this is super uncomfy for me otherwise. I need to bring my box of makeup over. Elsie bronzer, keep. Bior bronzer, keep. Charlotte Tilbury, this is the cheek to cheek blush. This is super beautiful. This is in Pillow Talk. I love, love, love this. Uh, two Milk Cosmetics blushes, love these. These are keeps. Millie McIntosh uh, bronzer, really, really good. I don't think you can get it anymore, um, but it is super, super flattering. Yeah, just a really nice bronzer in general thing is i used to love this shade but it's so old i'm pretty sure my cousin wants this because she's like i love that avon blush that you used to have so um i might give it to her if she wants it um i have two of the little mini benefit gold rush blushes these are super cute they're a little tester so i'll keep them essence matte touch blush uh i do like these but they don't last very long on the cheeks but they're super super affordable so i think i am going to keep them for more instant duo contour stick, you have to pry this out of my hands. I love this so, so much. So good. Lani baked bronzer, really good as well. These are like A1. I don't know if you can remember these. The pearl things. Then we have this. Well, it's what's I Heart Makeup. It's I Heart Revolution. So this is Blushing Hearts Triple Baked Blush. I need to use this more, but it's a little bit glowy. I don't know if I love it. I will give it another go. This is from Lacquer and Chloe. This is a blush highlight. Which just baffles me. So it's either a blush or a highlight. Please make up your mind. Um, ooh, it's pretty though. I will give you that. I'm going to keep that. Because it's like a little tester. Um, what is this? Lord and Berry blush. It's like a crayon. I just... My mind boggles. Oh, I don't know. That is soft. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know what? I really am into like cream blushes at the minute. I need to try the Fenty ones um, so badly, but well, my ass is broke. So I think I'm going to keep this. I'm going to try and use more blush cream products and stuff. L'Oreal Le Blush. Uh, God, this is so old. This is in Rosewood. I don't think this is a good shade for me anymore. I feel like I'm going to just put that away. Next up, we have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Love this. I have the Marc Jacobs on my desk, which I have been loving. So that will stay there. I have a Nando's card that I need to activate. <laughs> I've got so much crap in here, it's unreal. Like hair ties, tools, you name it, it's in there. So that's all there. Oh, bobby pins, I didn't know I had those. So that's all in there. Butter bronzer, so good. Becca bronzer, really, really good as well. Milani Blush, this is a holy grail for me. I love this. Super pretty, super beautiful colour. Ah, I have the brush is gonna. I must keep. Becca Blush in Tiger Lily. Oof. Yeah, give that to me. That is so beautiful. Keep. Must keep. Uh, Millie McIntosh, another bronzer. But I'm pretty sure this is the same as the other bronzer. So I'll probably just throw this one in grey and keep the other one because it's so big. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this. I used to love this bronzer so much. This is from the Balm and this is in Balm Desert. I need to whack this back out. I'm going to use that in another video soon. LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, this is like a contour thing. I just don't really use it for that. It's just a lad box. Oh, what do we do about this? This is from NARS and this is... She's beat up for one. And it's just... It's like it's got no pigment to it. I don't like the powder side. I remember when everyone raved about this. I just... I'll tell you what. We'll give it a second chance. And if we don't like it, we'll throw it. Oh, I love this. I haven't used this for a hot minute though. This is from Model Co. And it's like their... Um, obviously like their contour stick. Um, yeah. Really pretty. I love... I keep forgetting about like cream bronzers. I haven't used them in so long. Um, this is super actually this is from my, one of my birch box things it is really really pretty but yeah another thing i just don't need to keep same with this this is like full size sample full size sample <laughs> full size product yeah again just no. another like 
triple bait thing but this is like bronze i keep forgetting about this as well this is so good it's nice and shimmery it's like, it's like the becca ones oh i wonder if they they look similar i don't think they do i think the becca one if i can find it uh, i didn't put her in the other bin did i no i can't have done that why can't i find it Oh, well, okay, well, I've lost the Becca bronzer. When I find it, I'll show you the dupes for it. Oh, I don't really need to keep this. This is from Soap and Glory. It's a bronzer. No, I'm going to throw it. I just don't use it. Same with the blush. I just don't use. This is like... Yeah, I'll keep it because it was so expensive. But I'll, I'll try and get through it. But it's just like the Rimmel one. It's literally the exact same found that bloody becca bronzer so this is what the becca one looks like obviously it doesn't have like the big specks of gold for it but get the same sort of vibe like that shimmery bronzer um but yeah this is super beautiful i need to give this like i haven't used this in so long the i heart revolution one um i do need to give it another go oh so the Luna Beauty Moon Prims Blush. I haven't tested this out yet. I'm going to do a whole dedicated video or videos. I'll probably do like a free video thing with this. The Strawberry Dream Palette and the glosses. I did use a gloss the other day in a recent video. I'll link it in the eye if it's up before this. And oh my god, when I tell you the most beautiful gloss. It was so beautiful. And I ate and drank and it was still on my lips. I was so shocked. Um, so this is the RCMA contour palette thing it's like the Crayola one i'll keep it i love it haven't used this yet this is the hourglass bronzer and i'm pretty sure yeah the hourglass blush i haven't tried them out yet but i obviously will this was hourglass this is like an ambient palette this was limited edition it's super beautiful if you do get around to buy them at christmas time i highly recommend them they're so good then we have the lumi sheer love it must keep Kevin Kwan bronzer i keep it in the little pouch i don't know why and was like who keeps it in the pouch i was like me <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is really, really pretty. So we will keep that as well. Then we have the Benefit Cheek Fun Palette. I love this. I think these are actually really worth the price tag. Um, but yeah, they, oh God, the scent does drive me a little bit wild. But um, if you do get your hands on one of these that you like, I really, really recommend it. They're so good. Obviously, I think that's super cheap compared to if you were to buy them individually. Like you save a lot of money. Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I love this. Obviously, I, uh, I stopped using it because, well, it was Kat Von D and I was just like, yeah, no. Duper Fab Contour Palette. I liked it. Am I going to keep using it? Probably not. So I'm going to give this away. Then we have Nip and Fab Basic Beach. This is super beautiful. I love this palette. It's a nice keep. And this is really pretty as well, but I feel like I love the other one more. So I don't think think no i'm not gonna keep that i'm gonna put that in there so that's that drawer done so like i said i've literally got tape i've literally got tweezers to glue i've got wires in here that charge my dermacol thing it's like a face that deep cleans your pores i've got lash glue oh lashing uh with, with nails i might stick some nails on uh yeah so that's all of that crap in that drawer so i'm gonna move on to the next one now so next up we have like glitters pigments things like that i did sort through this recently so i don't know if i'm going to be getting rid of a lot but let's let's go through this so i have all the ColourPop supernova shadow things and i remember trying one the other day i think i need to give these a swatch and then maybe just throw some because they're not even that great to be honest so i will keep some and i will throw some next up we have there's another one there oh, was another two god i bought a lot of these that blue is super beautiful i hope you work i don't want to get rid of you um so i had these ones from revolution makeup and the problem i had i'm pretty sure i have another one somewhere oh here it is um they were just so choppy but they're so beautiful the glitters by the way fyi if you're like looking for something really affordable and you're like literally just want it for the glitter super beautiful but the problem is it's like these things they dry super weird um but i'm gonna give them another go um i don't even know if i've tried i don't think i've tried these two i think i've tried this one um i'll give them another go and like i said if i don't like them i'll just throw them 
Then we have these from Incredible, and these are the Kinda Care, Don't Kinda Don't Eye Pigment. Um, this is like gold, it's super beautiful. And then they had the Gen Yellow, which was a limited edition, I believe. Um, obviously, it's just, it's just the yellow eyeliner you can get anywhere, and it's not even that good. Like, as an eyeliner, it just does not work. But if you wanted to, like, buff it along the lower lash line and get, like, really yellow, it's good for that. This, oh, this is super beautiful, by the way. Like, so stunning. That's the one thing they've got right. I have a bunch of these Steeler. I've got some in the packaging because I think I haven't used these ones. But I've got a bunch of the Steeler Glitter and Glow. Um, Yeah, I'll keep all of these. They're super beautiful. There is one that I like. But do you know me? I like... I like something like this, I feel like, where it's just a little bit of glitter. I don't really like the ones where it's got a lot of base to it because, I don't know, they just look weird. Like, why are they so weird, man? Um, I have two of these. These are Lacquer & Co. These are eye, eye lighters, and these are actually super pretty. I need to use them on, like, the inner corners and stuff more, so I'm going to keep those. I've just got to dig them out. Then we have big eyeshadow crayon thing. Just... Then I have like two of the um, LOC ones. I'm pretty sure these are with Birchbox. I don't know if they're like Birchbox's brand. Yeah, again, really pretty colours. Yeah, I need to use them more, so I will use that. Then I have an Avon pigment here. I don't even think I've used this. Is this even open? Oh, it is open. It's just like a pink. Um, do you know what? We'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Then we have like this company again that's like full size i really just don't get it like what were birchbox thinking with this like little brand like it's super expensive as well i'm just like hang on a minute like how can you be so dear for like such a small amount of product like and it's not even like quality packaging either i can understand if it was like something like this this is hourglass by the way and this is the scad light i'll be keeping that it's like very similar iconic be keeping that i'm trying to open this up to see if i want it but i can't even get it open was it just a shimmery eyeshadow? Ooh, that is pretty. We'll keep that. Kat Von D. Oof, yeah, I haven't used this in a hot minute. This is Thunderstruck, and this is super, super beautiful. I'm trying not to, like, mix ten other shades in with it. Um, yeah, really pretty shade. I will be keeping that. Then we have Ella E. London. Um, this is just, like, a little pressed eye thing. Super pretty. Just nice pink shade. I will keep that. Um be get rid of that it's just the blue eyeshadow will i use it no um this is from revolution and this is aquarius so it's like your star sign i will keep it i need to use it um just more um you can't just throw that it's just another birchbox thing i haven't used this either yet this is from dosa colors and this is the eyeshadow in block party and i love red believe it or not it's one of my favorite shades to use so i will be keeping that bunch of um peaches and cream pigments all super beautiful really nice indie brand go and check them out keep those super stunning have these from hourglass haven't used these yet they're the scattered light things again super beautiful if there's anything like the other shades i'll love them then we have tart we have three of these these are super beautiful um these are like the chrome paints i'll keep all three of those i love them then we have I like to keep the packaging on things. I don't know why, especially like when they're like little cutesy ones. But these are from Snazzara and they're a little indie brand again. And this is like the holographic pigment. Um, this is pink gold. It's golden sunset or something. What is it? Golden sunset. Really pretty like pink gold shade. Yeah, again, another indie brand. Go and check them out. And I have, have one in the box still. But I have four of the Jordana Tissa. These are the eyes or base and sparkle so it's the same as the face ones they come with a base and then they come with a pigment i haven't used these yet i've still got to use them like i said they're just hoard makeup i will get to it trust me um the same thing with the millie macintosh one from boots i don't remember loving this as much i'm gonna give it another go even though i can't get it open have a little model co we have like a little dish and oh, super beautiful i love this shade so that's a must keep have a bunch of like pressed glitters and pressed pigments from Colourpop. Love these. We'll keep these. Oh god, I just don't think I've got the time to dig for all of these. But these are like glitters. So I have like things like this. So this is from Kyma Cosmetics, super beautiful brand. I have an SUV Hydra liner. I have um 
glitters by Chelsea and Abbey. You know that I love them. They make some beautiful shades. Foils from them. I have everything from them in here. I have this from Lottie London. It's like Diamond Drip. It's Face and Body Sparkle. Um, yeah, I have glitters from um, Superdrug. Glitter by Chelsea and Abbey. Karma Cosmetics. Just like little indie brands. Yet again, go and check them out. Super, super beautiful. I have pigment drops from um peaches and cream i have one up there i don't know why i bought two i think i made a mistake with my order yeah again another lot of london thing color pop uh super shock shadow so this is in bubbly and this is super beautiful i absolutely love this i bought this ages ago and i have a bunch of like singles from avon from kiko a bunch of like pigments and stuff i'm all gonna keep them all because i know i'll use them so this oh this is from like pop beauty and this is a little quad this is actually really really pretty so i'm going to keep all of that because i think i did through this not that long ago and i'm happy to keep it color pop ones i might throw some away but yeah that is that draw done i'm only going to throw two of these away because the rest of them swatch so beautiful this purple shade is so stunning i'm going to use that in a video one day so i'm just going to throw away running in auburn walk of fame i don't really like them they didn't swatch great yeah they're just these are not the best ones to have so those are those two going in the bin okay so moving on to the third draw i'm actually so ashamed to show you this but look at sorry all the mess over here by the way i need to clean my whole room look at this this is bad so yeah we're gonna we're gonna go through this i'm gonna try and go through it as quick as i can because i know we're just gonna be here all day so first of all the luna beauty lip glosses i've tried this shade this shade is so beautiful um, this was Celine. Celine, yeah. Um, so, yeah, super beautiful. Obviously, I'll keep those free. And I'll do, like, a whole video, like I said, with the many products. Um, I'm trying to, like, collect, like, if I have, like, oh, look, this is Fenty and this is Fenty. And just know if you see any Fenty glosses, they will be staying. So this is Glass Lip Art and Fenty Glow. Usually Fenty Glow stays in my handbag. I don't know why I put it in there. Um, but, yeah, obviously, I'll keep Fenty. I love Fenty. They make the most beautiful lip glosses ever probably um i don't know, like let's do like try and work through glosses first so i have all of these from um revolution makeup these are super be super beautiful kind of remind me of the finity ones um just obviously less expensive and i'd say that i won't say they're as good but i say they're like a close close dupe then I have Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in Aquarius. I will keep that. And I have... This is another... That's an Ultra Satin Lip by Colourpop. So I'll keep that as well. I know that I will use those. Um, Violet Boss Lip Gloss. This is so good. I actually really love this. And I'm just going to... Oh yeah, get a whiff of that. It smells so good. I love this with... Um, I might as well dig it out now. This on top. This is like a colour enhancing lip balm. This is super, super pretty. Um, yeah, these two together I love, so I will keep those. Another Fenty Gloss, must keep. I have the Dominic Cosmetic Gloss. This is in um, pink peach tea or something. I will keep it. I love the peach shade. This is like nearly out, and I'm like, is it worth keeping? I do love the Steeler Lip Glaze. It's super thick. It's super pretty. We'll keep it for the last little bit. We might as well use it, haven't we? Finish it off got a Millie Macintosh gloss here um I'll probably keep it I think I have two I might throw the other one away we have both the elf and the Alyssa Ashley lip glosses so these are limited edition literally both the same shade I literally picked up two because well they were limited edition and I was like yeah I want them um so then I have two lip glosses from Dose of Colour um I do have more up on my little shelf thing I'll probably go through that as well so we can sort of see if we want to throw any of that away so i'll do that as well because that'll only take a few seconds uh, but yeah i love those color lip glosses i'll keep those the only lip gloss i don't like and i think i will throw is this one so this one was by desi and katie um it's super beautiful but it's just so gritty like i just i can't get on board with it so i'm i'm just not going to keep it there's literally no point I have a Rimmel Clear Gloss. I honestly love the Fenty one, even though it is a little bit goopy. I just, yeah, I don't see the point in having, like... I have another one as well that's, like, clear, so I just don't see the point. Another Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip. I'll keep that. That's in Moonchild, literally worn off. Let's have three of the Peaches and Cream Glosses. I love these. These will be staying. This one's in clear. Super beautiful. They smell really good as well. 
So they're a keep. Had these from Malfi by Megan McKenna. She's like an Essex influencer, I guess. Um, I do have another one. I love these. These are super, super pretty. I don't know if she makes this shade anymore, but I believe she still has these, and these are so good. Estee Lauder Nude Lip, I think. Is it Estee Lauder? It says Estee Lauder. It says Pure Colour Envy Discreet Nude. I think it's like worn off. Will I use this? Probably not, so let's just right in there Chloe Fairy lip gloss really pretty I'll keep that Birch B lip gloss do I, I haven't have I even used this is the real question will I ever use this probably not let's give that in the bin I might give it away give bin <laughs> uh, another mini Macintosh lip gloss I'm pretty sure these are the same um so I'm just gonna throw that one away because there's literally no point in me keeping it incredible this is so bad like i see it all the time on people i'm like it looks so glossy but there's like nothing to it like it just doesn't come off like super glossy like let me show you sorry i know i'm like digging through i'm gonna show you but let me just show you like the peaches and cream next to it like when you think like really glossy like you can just tell the difference like look at that look how wet that is compared to that and i just yeah it was just it's a dud just yeah i'm gonna throw it um God. so i have two of the um kylie glosses they're good they're okay probably not worth the money to be honest but i have them so i will keep them i have another one floating around somewhere and then we have the incredible push every day like a semi lip cheek thing this is really really pretty i'm gonna keep it i also have like their chunky glitter gasm gloss thing this is super super chunky so i know i whinged about the other one from dose of color but this is i feel like this is worth it because it's so pretty like you can really see the glitter flakes in it um whereas the other one i'm just like meh oh i didn't even know i had this this is another like my sign from revolution so it's obviously i am aquarius and Oh my god, have I even used this? I don't know, but I, I will keep it just because, well, it's my star sign and I love it. Oh, I didn't even know I had this. I've got another peaches and cream lip gloss here, and this is in the shade Babe. Didn't even know I had that. I will be keeping that. I'll be using that sometime, I hope. Another, like, birch box thing. This was with Millie Macintosh. Um, oh god, that's Barbie Pink. Yeah, I don't think I'll be keeping that. It's not my vibe. I don't really like those shades. So I do have some of these in packaging just because I like to keep packaging for some things. But I have quite a few of the Jouet, well I say few, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the Jouet lip toppers. I love these. These are like one of my favourite things to use. That's why like I have loads of them. Yeah, super, super beautiful. I will be keeping those. We have a Siphon Glory Extreme like plumping gloss. I probably won't use that. I know like my cousin will probably like that, so I might give that to her. Then we have the Sleep Glitter Me Intense like sparkly lip gloss. Will I use this? Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, let's keep that. Let's keep that. If I don't use it, then I know to throw it soon. I got these from BH Cosmetics. I don't even know if they still sell these. It says Forever Aqua Gloss Nude. And I don't really know, to be honest. Like, yeah, they're all right. I think I'll just, yeah, just throw that in there. I'll just, nah. I have two of them. Um, I probably won't keep either of them, to be honest. They're just, I don't know, like, they're just weird. They kind of remind me of the NYX Butter Glosses, but they're trying too hard to be them. Which, talking about the butter gloss, I have the shade here, and this is in the creme brulee. I need to use this more. I hear, like, really good things, and I just don't use it. Then we have the Ofra lip, lip, uh, Ofra lip Gloss in Copper. I've never used this shade. I have used one of their other ones, which is probably lingering around somewhere else. Here. And this is Pink Panther. This is super beautiful. I will be keeping those. I love Ofra. I'll never throw away Ofra. Then I have a Colourpop So Juicy Plumping Gloss. I haven't even used this yet. I will use this. It looks really, really good. Oh, another Murphy by Megan McKenna gloss there. Will I use this gloss from Kiko? I feel like it's very similar to the Sleek one. And if it's very similar, I don't see the point in having two. Oh, I don't know. They are different. That's got like 
green. Oh, I'll, I'll keep it, sod it. I love a gloss anyway. Um, I've actually got so much here, so I'm just going to have some Oh, another Fenty gloss. Like I said, I like to keep the packaging. So this is in Sweet Mouth. Oh, another Fenty gloss. <laughs> Basically, I have majority of my shade, believe it or not. I have Hourglass lip gloss, not even been opened yet. Um, I have a few up on the shelf as well. I don't know if I like them, but I'm pretty sure I will because it's Hourglass. I had this from Gliss Gloss. I can't remember what brand it is. It doesn't say on it. Um, I think it's from Gliss and Cosmetics. I'm not entirely sure, but obviously just a really pretty gloss. Oh, I love this. This is Elf Lip Plumping Glass in Champagne. Yeah, beautiful. Kylie Cosmetics with Coco. Yeah, again, not really worth the price tag, but still a beautiful lip gloss. Anastasia Lip Gloss, super beautiful as well. I have a Kiko one. This one's in, like, the whitey shade. Oh, God, okay. Well, I can't even get that open, so that's just a throw. Oh, another Dice Color Lip Gloss. Beautiful, will keep. So I think that's it, more or less, for glosses. I have Kathleen Knight's one here. So this is... Oh, that's Moonchild. What was the other one? Fairy Floss. So that's the Moonchild one. I have two of the NYX lip crayon things. I have Stockholm and I have Cairo. Um, yeah. Mm, I, don't, I don't think I particularly love this. Like, it's very, very nude. Um just not the sort of thing i love i like a peachy nude uh, i think i will i think i have two so maybe i'll keep that one i will keep this one though um that's a by katie lip gloss yeah it's okay i'll keep it i might use it but we'll see i have two mini cat one d liquid lipsticks that i haven't used so i do have oh lolita too i already have this so i'm not gonna keep that it's not even been opened i'll give it to someone and then I have Lovecraft, which I haven't tried on. I've heard really good things, so I will keep it. It comes in like a little um, gift my friend got me for Christmas with the mascara, so I will try that out. Mouthy by Megan McKenna. This is such an awful lip product. It was just, it's so thick and so heavy on the lips. I don't like it, so I'm just going to toss that. Oh my God, I'm trying to like pick up like products. Yeah, there's the other next one, so I'll keep one and give one away or whatever. I'm trying to like pick it up. I'm like, right, if I can get all my Ofra products together, then we know we're good to go. So I have three Morphe liquid lipsticks. These are really good. Yeah, again, old packaging. Uh, I will keep them. I love them. Wet n Wild liquid lipstick key. Beauty Bakery. I don't love the shade of this. And I don't particularly remember loving the formula, even though it's like long. I was everyone's like, it's really long lasting, but I didn't find that it was very long lasting for me. It's just a shade I'm just not going to use. Um, yeah, I'm just going to not keep that. I just, I'm just not going to use it. I just know I'm not. We have a bunch of Nick and Fab um, liquid lipsticks. I will keep a few of these, but there's one I know I don't like, and I know I will throw it. Uh, we have Colourpop Ultra Satin Lips. Uh, there's two here. I believe they're both by Kathleen Light. So I have Dreamy and Riviere. This is such a beautiful shade, by the way. Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in Dusty Rose. I don't even think I've used this yet. Again, it's one of those shades that I picked up and I was like, I don't wear shades like this. Why would I pick it up? But I will keep it because, oh, well, I'm going to have to try and use it to see if I like it. Another Nip and Fab one. Just, yeah, keep. Another Nip and Fab one. I'm pretty sure I have dupes of these, so I'm going to go through those and just throw ones that I already have away. So then I have like these from Ofra. So I have like the liquid lipsticks and then I have the flexi stick, which is really beautiful. I will keep Ofra. I love Ofra products. I'm pretty sure I have Sao Paulo in my handbag. It's like one of my favourite nudes ever. So I will be keeping those. Oh my god, it's just like never ending. Then I have two products from Kat Von D. These are the Lolitas. I think they're Lolitas or whatever they are. One and two, I will keep them. Um, now we can start using her products again. <laughs> um, these are from the Kylie Cosmetic Coco things. I'll keep them. They're, they're good, but like I said, it's not worth the price tag. Clary Fairy um, lip product. This is like really, really old. She doesn't sell this brand anymore. I think it's like by Chloe Fairy and not 
Chloe Ferry. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll keep it just because, well, I don't know, I will. Um, I don't even remember buying this show. Oh, it's from, I think this was from the collaboration with Manny. Um, so, yeah, I'll keep it at like both bras. Which brands, like, when they've done collabs, especially on lipsticks and stuff, but they'd put their names on it. Like, I feel like, why would you not do that? You know, like, Colourpop have, like, ex Kathleen lights that they never used to. Like, and it's just, like, it's frustrating because, like, I feel like they put all that hard work into it and you can't even put their name on it. Like, come on. More products from Kylie. Keep. Oh, the other gloss. Keep. Another Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in Aquarius. I love Aquarius. It's my star sign. Another one. Little Mix Matte Liquid Lipstick. Uh, it was okay. I think I'll just toss it. There's no point. Um, I have a few Jouer, um like lip topper things. Um, not lip toppers. These are like the creme... No, that's creme brulee. I love creme brulee, by the way. It's like my favourite shade. These are the lip cremes. That says lip topper, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's the uh, metallic one. It might be the lip topper. I know I've got like one of the ones somewhere. Um, I will keep that. I have a bunch of these from Lottie London, like the glitter flick, glitter switch ones where you like rub your lips together. I probably won't keep this shade. I won't be using it. There was some that I didn't like and there was like three that I did. So I'm going to have to dig around with those and decide what I'm going to keep. Um, Juvia's Place, it come in a little, little collection. Super cute, metallic and then the matte one. I used the matte one recently in a video. It was super pretty. So I will keep that. From Bourjois, probably just throw that. Oh, another Ofra liquid lip. Keep that is super beautiful. Yeah, again, used that in another video recently. The sleek matte lipsticks are keep. Have another Bourjois thing, and then like one from Maybelline. Probably won't ever use these. Sorry, I know I'm like holding it here. And it's like pitch black. Um, yeah, I probably won't keep those. So just over there so i have two here from uh, gerard cosmetics i believe one was in collab with manny i think it was this one um this shade looked like really pink on people i was like oh it's going to be super pretty but it's more of like that um this sort of shade i don't particularly love it i think i'll throw this one but keep the manny one um and then i have three little metallic lipsticks from um soap and glory uh, i haven't tried these out yet either i keep meaning to do like more metallic lips but I feel like if I throw a gloss on, it's just like super sexy. So I will do that. I have the NYX Liquid Suede um, lipstick thing. I think this is like a dupe for the Kat Von D one, so I'll keep it. Um, this is so old, I should probably throw this. This is from Lipland. I don't even know if they still have Lipland anymore. Um, but yeah, it's like this just super nice red. Um, it is a bit gunky though, I think. I will just throw that. Another... Sleek matte one, Colourpop Ultra Blotted Lip. I love a blotted lip. I haven't yet to try it. Um, Fenty Beauty um, lipstick, really, really pretty. This comes off so patchy, so I won't be keeping that. Smashbox, I haven't really tried it. I think I tried it like once and I was like, yeah, I don't particularly love the shade, but I feel like if I blotted my lips, I could get this to work for me. Um, I have, like I said, packaging Luna Beauty. This is a liquid lipstick, and this is in Wicked. It's the black. It's really, really pretty. I love it. Um, oh my God, we're still going. I have one gloss here from Milk Cosmetics. I had the whole Modern Love collection, but yeah, I will be keeping these. So I have five of the um, Spectrum Zodiac collections. I will be keeping those. I love those. I have like things from Avon. These are like probably 500 years old. I'll probably just throw those. Um, there's no point keeping them. I have a bunch of lip products from Chloe Lewis. She was like, she was on Taui Influencer. I don't even think she does makeup anymore. So we'll keep them. They're pretty, but I probably just won't use them on camera. Over lipstick. I haven't tried their bullet lipstick yet. Um, it looks really, really pretty. But yeah, um, nice sleek packaging. So I'll keep that. Um, we have one from Charlotte Tilbury here. So I do have Pillow Talk. Uh, I can't even see that. Oh, Valentine. Yeah, I remember picking that up. Like a nice pinky colour. And then I have Pillow Talk, like this metallic um, glossy shade. No, it's like a glossy shade, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I do have those. I have a matching lip liner up there to go with it. So I will be keeping those. Model Co. Just a red lipstick. Probably just... Yeah, no point. I've got a bunch of red I don't need to keep. 
bunch of stuff from Avon. I'm just not going to keep this no point. Um, this is from like Estee Lauder again. I just, yeah, I just, no, I'm just not going to use it. Um, something from Rimmel. I think I won this in a competition, but I just know I just won't keep it. Wet and Wild, I will keep that. Uh, just like a nude lip colour. Uh, what do we have here? I think this is old as well. This is from Rimmel. Yeah, I just I won't use that. I have a lipstick from Body Shop here. It's like this grey brown colour. I don't know. Um, will I use it? Will I use it? Will I use it? Probably not. And I have things from NYX. These are like old, old packaging. I just, yeah, I'm going to give those in the. Oh, that's. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I just got it everywhere. Oh, that's a pretty shade, but will I use it? Probably not. Oh my god, Nars, no, I've had this for ages. I don't even like this shade. I think I just pitch it up because everyone's like, yeah, burgundies. I hate burgundies. I don't like those kind of colours on me. But uh do you know what? Sod it, we'll give it another go. Uh where am I? Oh, I've got Anastasia lip product. This is really good, but Anastasia in a minute, I don't mind. Dice of colour is really good. This is with Desi and Katie. I love this lipstick. This is from Makeup Revolution. Super beautiful. They've just come out with like different ones in Chauffeur, which I need to pick up. It's such a good shade. I have like this uh, MUA. Or, yeah, from Makeup Academy lipstick. This is super affordable. And I'm not even joking, like it is super pretty as well. Super pigmented. I can't remember what shade it is now. I swatched so much. What was it? Yeah, just look how pretty that is for like I swear it was like two quid or something so I will keep that have lip land with Samantha yeah green packaging is a big thing I'll keep that I have the Kat Von D or oh, sorry KVD uh, this is like their blue lipstick I don't know what convinced me to buy blue but I did and I will keep it a uh, little benefit keep them up thing I'll just throw that then I have this from Maybelline I will keep this this is really oh god I've used it on a gloss that's really really pretty uh, oh my god done this draw now Oof. so i have the hourglass confession i have a few of these i think they're in this one but me being me i picked up the case when i only wanted the tube it's my own fault for not looking they've done a sale and i just got a bit excited um so i do have two of these now i'll probably just stick one in my handbag or something but yeah i do have them then i have patrick tar like lip liners glosses creams things like that it's stuff i haven't used that's why i keep them in the packaging um i have used some of them and they're really really pretty um yeah again another patrick tar one these are like yeah these are like my hourglass little things so i wanted to buy these and i bought this which obviously i already have but they're just like little refillables i love these yeah again hourglass for me just does everything so another one in there um some red avon lip liner thing i should probably throw that i've had that since i was like 12 i think um and this is from millie mcintosh i believe it's just a lip liner yeah it's pretty we'll keep it and then the last product we have is from christian louboutin uh so it's just their lipstick I, again i don't know what what convinced me to pick up this shade i'll never know because i just don't particularly go for those shades um i'm mean, just more of a nudie girl i will keep it because obviously it was super expensive and i'm just I'll, if i had to part with it i'd just probably cry because it was expensive <laughs> uh so that's basically it um so we're gonna now move on to the next drawer